So our philosophy around income has got three tenets. Firstly, we want the total yield to be attractive. We want that income to grow in dollar terms so that you can maintain your spending power. And then we think you need your income stream to be low risk. And then how that relates to real assets, we think that fits very well in that philosophy because real assets are driven by population growth and you tend to have pricing power in real assets. So they have a naturally attractive yield and you get good growth prospects. So real assets are made up of infrastructure, utilities and REITs. And these are assets that we use every day. These are names like Sydney Airport, uh, Transurban, and even the office building we're sitting in. And driven by population growth, and they have low exposure to the business cycle. So the fund's been running around six years, and we've had very strong returns, uh, almost 20% per annum. So that's quite an attractive yield, making up a lot of that return, over 8% each year. But importantly, we've had very strong growth in that income stream, almost 8% each year. And so that's made up a lot of that total return. And then, of course, we've had the tailwind of falling interest rates. And that makes up some of the return, which uh, we think uh, s less sustainable. But we think the yield and the growth is very much supported by Australia's strong population growth. Well, we think real assets have a great role to play in an income portfolio. Because they're relatively low risk, they're less exposed to the business cycle. And then their growth drivers are driven by population and their ability to raise prices to match inflation. And if you think about characteristics around the world, Australia is a terrific uh, destination for owning real assets. And so we think they're a suitable alternative to cash, which is very low, and uh, typical fixed income products that might have historically made up that return portfolio. Yes, so we've had very strong external support for the fund with recommended ratings by Zenith and Lonsec. And I think that reflects the uh, easy to understand nature of the fund. We don't use complex derivatives. People can understand real assets. The track record that we've delivered in not just attractive returns, but also a low risk fund. And I think that's very important. It has a low drawdown against other asset classes. And that's an important feature of income. Well, we think retirees are obviously front and centre when we design this product. And that's because they're no longer earning a regular income. They need to have their investment portfolio produce that for them. And so your needs change dramatically and real assets have a strong role to play. Yes, so we get asked about the outlook for real assets all the time. And there's two elements to that. The expected return, we think is quite attractive. The yield at over 6% is very sustainable. And then the growth drivers are there, Australia's strong population and inflation. So we're, think we're seeing an IRR of around 9.5%. We think that's very attractive for the risk profile. The other element of the outlook is what happens in rising interest rate environment. And we see rising interest rates uh, as uh, a key theme happening in the Australian economy. We think rates are too low. But we do think the current yield provides a very sustainable cushion against where bonds are priced. And so real assets are typically priced with reference to bonds. And that spread between the yield on the fund and the yield, very low yields of bonds can absorb quite a large raise in rates from here. And then of course, if you think about why rates are rising, it's either because we've got higher inflation or higher real growth in the economy, and that's going to support the growth prospects for the fund as well.